the Stalker trilogy is marked with significant characters whose stories are deeply linked to the general plot. That is why it is important for some of these characters to make a comeback appearance in the upcoming Stalker 2. Hello Stalkers, and welcome to the Anomalous Dugout. In this video, we take a look at 10 characters that need to return in Stalker 2. Vano is a cheerful stalker that, if the player acts correctly, accompanied Major Diktyrev on his trip to Pripyat during the events of Call of Pripyat. If you get his good ending, it is explained that after that he travelled to the army warehouses where he was quickly appreciated, becoming the leader of a small research group working on anomalies. It can be assumed that this field of research allows him to fully use his natural skill of feeling the position of anomalies, a capacity that many stalkers could be envious of. In any case, Vano was a very friendly character and it would be nice to see how he is doing in Stalker 2. Some missions to help him and his team on anomalous research could also be pretty interesting. Strider is another stalker that supposedly travelled to Pripyat with Major Jektyrev. But unlike Vano, Strider is not just your regular stalker. He was the leader of a monolith squad who lost their memory after the link to the monolith was broken. Freed of the fanatism of the monolith, Strider was eager to discover what happened to him and his comrades. In the good ending of Call of Pripyat, we learn that Strider became the leader of a new group in the zone, formed of other former monolith soldiers, which goals remain unclear. Most likely, more and more monolith fighters are losing their link to the monolith device after its deactivation by Strelok, and since they are not welcome anywhere else, they joined Strider's group. Being able to meet this new mysterious faction in Stalker 2 would be pretty cool, and it would be interesting to help them understand what was the monolith conspiracy and other secrets of the zone. Guide is a legendary stalker mentioned in tales all across the zone. It is said that he was the very first stalker, and that he can easily navigate into the most dangerous anomalies. Many believe he can guide others anywhere into the zone, as long as they have the money, and it's almost certain that he was the one to help Strelok and his group to bypass the brain scorcher. He also guided the military survivors of Operation Fairway to Pripyat, just before the events of Call of Pripyat. Despite the legends, the man really exists and can be met in Shadow of Chernobyl, an action that is required to get the good ending of the game. However, the dialogue between Strelok and Guide is extremely disappointing, as they don't seem to recognize each other. Ultimately, Guide ended up just being another generic NPC, which is a shame considering his developed background. This is why it is very important that Guide makes a return in Stalker 2, so that players can meet him again and this time have a proper conversation with him. I wouldn't be surprised if he was to once again play a vital role in the story as well. I mean, even if the encounter in Shadow of Chernobyl does not reflect it, he is still one of the most important characters in the Stalker universe. Much like Guide, Doctor is another important person that didn't get enough attention in the previous games. He is also a legendary stalker, said to be able to heal any wounds, but he only appears in Shadow of Chernobyl, and exclusively in the form of cutscenes. From such cutscenes we learned that Doctor is a friend of Strelok, that lives in a swamp with a tamed pseudodog, and that he is indeed able to heal people. Later in the game, he can be met in the Agroprom Underground, revealing some secrets of the zone to the marked one, and most importantly, confirming to the already suspicious player that he is in fact Strelok. 
Even though Doctor's role is more highlighted than Guide's, it still feels like it's not enough. In an older version of the game, the player was actually supposed to directly meet with him as an NPC in the Dead City, but all of that was scrapped. So it would be right to be able to meet with Doctor again in Stalker 2, and who knows, even visit him in his swamp, maybe. I mean, do I really have to explain this one? Sidrovich is one of the most, if not the most iconic character in Stalker. He is the first person you encounter in Shadow of Chernobyl, but also appears in Clear Sky and is mentioned in Kurov Pripyat. Because he controls such a large portion of the traffic, both inside and outside the zone, he is one of the most known, influential and feared traders. Not having Sidrovich and his good old banker back in Stoker 2 would just be wrong. Cardan and Nitro are the two Stalker mechanicians in God of Pripyat, and both of them helped Major Diktarev in his various quests around the area. In return, the player could find info about Cardan's deceased friends, Joker and Barge in order to unlock his good ending. In this ending, it is said that Cardan overcame his alcoholism and went to Yanov station to open a reaper shop along with Nitro. But the most interesting thing is that both characters were working on a special vehicle that could operate in the conditions of the zone. So it would be nice to visit their workshop in Stoker 2 and see if they were successful or not in their attempt to create such a vehicle. Cars have always been a hot topic in Stalker, because they were planned to be added to the game, but were ultimately removed by the developers. But now, we know that Stalker 2 will be a huge open world, which brings back the discussion around vehicles. Regardless of the outcome, vehicles or not, being able to see our old buddies Cardon and Nitro would always feel great. Nimble is the only non-playable character that appears in all three games of the Stalker trilogy. He's always been there, from being a guide for a clear sky, to working for Sidrovich, to becoming a special trader in Skadovsk. The man is a true entrepreneur and illustrates the journey of a successful individual into the zone. Because of all of that, Nimble has become a symbol in the world of Stalker, and he definitely needs to return in Stalker 2. Professor Sakharov is, even if it's not immediately obvious, one of the most important characters in the story of Stalker. Not only is he a brilliant scientist studying the zone, but he was the one to develop psi protection devices that allowed Strelok, Scar, and probably others to bypass lethal psi emissions and access new areas and secrets. Despite the hard conditions he has to work in, he is always friendly and ready to help random stalkers, and his inventions are helping the locals to survive in the wilderness of the zone. He is also the pioneer who inspired other helpful scientists, such as Erman and Hozerski, to come to the zone, which is always a good thing. As you can see, it would be nice to have him in Stalker 2, not only because he deserves it, but also to be able to see what new devices he could have invented. Moreover, Sakharov was planning to study the installation inside Lab X16 after Strelok deactivated it. So we could also witness how scientists are actually handling the research on such a weird machine and what they could learn from it. What would a stalker game be without Strelok? He is always in the midst of the plot, whether you expect it or not. Protagonist in Shadow of Chernobyl, antagonist in Clear Sky, and VIP in Curve Pripyat. He is the best stalker in the zone, the one who discovered its secrets and uncovered the truth behind the monolith. 
For all his actions, Strelok is the main character of the Stalker universe. And some way or another, he has to come back in Stalker 2. Will he be the player's character or simply an NPC? Be sure to tell me what you think in the comments. For now, no one knows, but there is no doubt that he will be there. There are many interesting characters that could come back in Stoker 2, and we couldn't include all of them in this video, so feel free to write down in the comments your favorite characters that you would like to see in Stoker 2. Thank you for watching, Stokers, and goodbye.